All right, hi, this is Attica, and welcome to the continuation of our series where we're playing the Railway Empire 2 scenarios in numeric order. So we're up to scenario 7, set in the American Southwest, we'll be in Santa Fe in the year 1880. There are 14 cities and 50 rural businesses. This thing is called the Southern Route. It's considered hard. After the Topeka and Santa Fe merged with the Southern Pacific Railway at Deming, to form the second transcontinental rail route in the United States, competition is renewed. The Southern Pacific is aiming for New Orleans and the Topeka and Santa Fe is heading west. Take over Cyrus K. Holliday's dream of a transcontinental railroad one more time and complete his route to a route, I've been saying route, haven't I? His route to the shores of the Pacific. Okay, so let's go. Now, let's see, we can play one, two, three, four, five, six. We can play all the characters. I think we're gonna play as the engineer though. We did the entrepreneur last time. And this is more very, very um, mountainous uh, area. And so, we're not, I really like the general, but we're not gonna use the general because that 30% penalty on tunnels and bridges. And we will use the engineer because he gets a, a reduction for tracks, tunnels, and bridges. And his uh, bonus penalty is not that extreme. So we'll go with him. And 1.5, so that tells me the tasks are gonna be pretty tough. And we only have 1.5 million funds, so we're a little low on cash, lower than we often are. We will have one regular competitor and there are mergers, so it looks like we would be able to merge with them, perhaps. And refunds, yes. Uh, we will have to buy our way into other states or regions on the map. And we may have to found a city or two. Let's go. Welcome. My heart rejoices at the sight of you. How relieved I am that the Lord has crossed our paths one more time. It's time that our blessed train line no longer has to rely on petty middlemen to get our God-fearing passengers all the way to Los Angeles. Until now, the Santa Fe route had been connected to Mr. Huntington's Southern Pacific Railway, together forming a transcontinental unit. But no longer. Mr. Huntington is pushing towards New Orleans with the devil's zeal. But we will, by God's grace, find our own way to Los Angeles. For my name is not Cyrus K. Holiday. Your tasks are clear. Let's go. All right, let's see what those tasks are. Construct a restaurant in Santa Fe. I think we can do that. Express status, Albuquerque and El Paso. Three cities, 30,000 or more, and eight loads of iron to Santa Fe. And this tells us there's a special building. So that just says one of the things we try to get in the habit of doing is immediately checking the city buildings when you open up a new scenario or mission. And see the headquarters in LA, that would be our opponent. We're in Santa Fe. There's a museum in Anita. Now this town of a little town of Anita is one of the special towns that uh, the it's similar to the Key West in that one in Florida. Um, it, there's a museum here and that attracts passengers. And so there's a building here right there. And it's, it's, it looks like a mine maybe, but it's really a, a museum in disguise. And it attracts passengers there. And it looks like they would want to come up here and check out the uh, Grand Canyon. That's the Colorado River cutting through and making the Grand Canyon. So, I'm sure at some point we'll have to take people there. And, hmm, and we have this track already set up, and this looks like our way to go back, you know, our transcontinental railroad coming through like Kansas and Nebraska and Colorado, coming down to Raton and the Santa Fe. We've seen this before in others, but, what can we do with this track? Oh, uh, let's see. And then we've got our opponent down here. Who's our opponent? Looks like Valter. So we've got Valter, and he starts in L.A., and he's got all this going down through here, up here and around, and all the way down. Okay. 
close that. Oh, and I didn't look at this. The warehouse in Santa Fe. So if we look at our uh, at the city of Santa Fe, it would like to have coal. It would like to have iron ore. It would like to have gold. It would like to have copper. That's a new one, copper. Have we see, I don't think we've seen copper yet in our supply chain. That's a new one. We've got, hmm, okay. Santa Fe is only 19,000. Albuquerque's 21. Looks like the only cities we got to deal with. El Paso is 19, and Deming is huh, under 5,000. Can we give them a settler bonus? We can. Oh, that's interesting. So Deming, we're taking over as Deming has just been formed, it looks like. And what are you? This is iron, good. That's what we need. We need iron to go down to Santa Fe. Now, I would like to apply the lessons we learned in the last one. Now, I really liked our kind of our Edward Watkins approach with the automated uh, trains. I really liked that. that. That worked very nicely early going because it gets you trains with more stuff in them. I not, don't know that I loved the uh, priority passenger mail. I don't, uh, you know, I just as soon haul freight and get city growth, but but I did love the automatic trains. And I also love the sharing of track and sharing of freight and passenger early so that you can keep going, right? You know, so that you can get going early. Now, I don't know if we're allowed to, if we can delete this, we certainly will and take the money. Yeah, we can't delete that. We can't delete that track. No, we can't delete that track can't delete that track. Well, how about, I don't like where the station is at all. Now they will let us remove that. Can we get rid of this track? Okay, now what about now? Okay, we're still stuck with that track. How about this station down here? I don't really see any purpose in it. Okay, we can get rid of it. But the track stays, interesting. Okay, all right, oh, and uh, Ooh, before I go any further, let's look at let's look at our trains. We've got we're kind of familiar with these guys by now. The De Glen, if we want to have an express train, the De Glen is the best one, and we will use that. Oh, how are we going to do this? Sixty-one traction. The PRR is sixty-four, sixty-six. The PRR is the mixed train, 64 and 93 traction, 66 and 61. Uh, I think we're going to run the PRR. Yeah, that's the best one. The PRR as our automatic train, right, between most of our cities. But we're going to start, I think, with a DeGlenn for Albuquerque to El Paso so that we can make sure that we can get that express status. So we'll have one train that runs down there, gets us our express status. And then I think we'll swap it out and run the PRRs everywhere. 93, what about the Shea for freight? 120. So we got 51, 120, speed and tractive, versus 64 and 93. I think we're just gonna run the PRR everywhere Yeah, for now, we'll run the PRR everywhere. And as I said, we'll run the DeGlenn on that one line, uh, Albuquerque, El Paso, to get that express status. Okay. And then for, let's see, we looked at the buildings. I did the personnel while he was talking. Let's do our research. Uh, mm -mm -mm. What are we missing? Reliability. Uh, processing speed, we want that. We want the residual value too. What's this? Training is cheaper. Uh, that would be nice since it's all we boosted. More packages, cheaper track. 
speed through the fork now is not going to act. That one actually doesn't help us because we're going to run newer trains than that. Uh, ooh, I like that. Construction cost of all buildings is nice. Of course, bridges, cheaper bridges. Recruiting, we don't really care. Hmm. We got all the very old ones, it looks like. Good, good. All right, so we got 200 points. Use them wisely, Grasshopper. Uh, are there a couple of 100s we would like? That would certainly be good. Okay, yeah, let's do let's do this one. The steam shovel to get our track cheaper, and then the uh, package counter to uh, give us more uh, pa packages to carry. And then and then we'll target what uh this one accelerating pro accelerates the processing of all wagons okay now let's look at bonuses we got a connection bonus of 100 here 200 150 150 and 300 wow three four fifty five six seven eight Nine, nine hundred thousand. Yeah, even got cheap bonuses this time. Okay, uh, not making it easy on us. All right, so I do want to use that kind of start with a step one station, run automatic lines, and we definitely want to pick up our bonuses. And one of our tasks is to haul eight iron ore down here. So we're going to set that up immediately and run a train down here. And then we got this big bonus down here. We want to pick that up. And a, a, a hotfix came out for the warehouses, and I like warehouses anyway, so we're definitely going to use them. And we're also going to going to leapfrog down here and get these stations down lower. So our first station, I think, will be right there where that one is, and then that'll give us room to put one above and below if we choose to later, which we will choose to, I think. So let's just let that one be our. Now, we can't delete this track. I suppose we might as well use it in some way. Let's look at, I mean, it looks like we could go up here, join in, and come around. That's not gonna be pretty, but it should work. If we come around like this, like so. And I think we'll double track this. We'll use both platforms like that. Oh, look at this. Because of that curve, we can't get a uh, crossover until there. Well, honestly, the only thing we're running <laughs> probably this I don't I don't see the corn running all the way up there it might but I'm not seeing it just yet okay so let's go here uh, we can go right yeah I guess right here um, Okay, and let's go here to here, run full. A freight line, it's going to want to run the Shea for 63. The PRR is 73. Okay, we'll run the Shea from down here. And it gave us some kind of warning. Oh, oh, up here we need some signals. There we go. All right. Then we want to get this guy coming down the hill. 
All right. Oh, oh, and before we do anything else so I don't forget it and accidentally start the silly game. That's it. Having in the past put a lot of emphasis on offering any route at all, we now also have to improve the comfort of our passengers. Okay, now let's go up here and just fall off the earth. into this station. I'm going to double track that, then I'm going to grab this end and bring it way, way, way back to about here. Like that. Okay. And then we're going to set up a line that goes from here to here. Freight line with the, sh the shay? Yeah, I guess. All right, and then we're going to go uh, fix that. Okay. Then we want to connect into uh, Albuquerque. There, that looks, that looks very good. Let's go down here to El Paso. here that goes to Albuquerque. That looks pretty good. Let's go uh, get some money, and as we learn, we'll take the second bond and the first one, and I think we'll double track this. I think I want to go with an early city growth model. Automatic trains. Have we done any trains at all? Just those, those two freight trains. Okay. So let's run. Well, first of all, let's get that. Let's get that. I'm going to run. We're going to make sure that we get that express. Uh, 
this is probably unnecessary, but we're going to do it anyway. We're going to uh, run an express train from Albuquerque to El Paso. with a max of one, a max of one, make sure it's nice light passengers, it'll have the caboose, it'll be the DeGlenn, that'll get us our express line. So this will get us one of the tasks, we already got one, this will get us the third one, and then we need to get into city growth mode to get the rest of it. So the way we're going to do that is to set up a warehouse here. And this warehouse is going to take wood and sugar. Then we're going to put a station out here that can pick up wood and sugar and haul it like this and like this. Into that warehouse. So we'll go here to here. Run full freight. Shea, yeah, let's run the Shea. Okay, so we got freight coming in here, and then we're gonna have an automatic line that goes from here to here, automatic, which will be the PRR, with no priorities, just go. Now that, that will trigger this to say that, hey, they need this stuff down here as well, right? So now we've got uh, two of them going, and we can actually grow Albuquerque or El Paso by just simply going here and putting another warehouse in and saying, you also accept these two things. And we're gonna add corn to this one. Yeah. Okay. And then that corn we're going to hook onto our line one. Well, we could actually bring it in here. I don't want to do that. I do want this. Oh, I do want this uh, bonus though. Let's go down here and go uh, like here. And up here like that. And I think here we'll just do a little uh, make sure that we don't stop the other end from running. I don't think we got any signals on that, did we? There are no uh, it, it shows the direction, but it doesn't show signals. There, there's a signal up there. And there's one down here. What do you mean change the track direction? Why would you have to change? Uh oh, this needs to be both ways. And there's a signal at both ends, good, good. So this running will not keep this one from running. So we're gonna go here. Uh, with a Shea, okay. Did we, we set up this, we set up this. 
We've got a train running here to get this one, and we got this one and this one. So that, that's going to give us all of our bonuses. Now, Deming to El Paso, if we want to run f passengers, uh, it's not going to work. I don't think it'll work to go up here and down. It's going to be too long. If we look at that straight line. So I think we're going to have to do... We'll bring Deming on board in a minute after we get... Um, after we see some of this run. And once we get this express line, I'm going to convert it to an automatic so that we can start hauling freight in both directions. We'll also probably, I don't know, uh, oh, we also got to get the grain. We really want grain connected to our, I think we're going to have a, a warehouse in El Paso with grain and corn. And that, that way we can get all that going. All right, so let's just run for a minute. Here comes our bonus here. Here comes our bonus. Uh, here's a bonus. There's a bonus. Everywhere's a bonus. Okay. Let's put a, a, a warehouse here as well. Let's go warehouse and uh, corn and grain. And let's hook up uh, the grain. We'll hook up a line that runs grain into into here. Okay. I think we've probably gotten all of our all of our bonuses. Now we're still waiting on this one and it's on its way down so we'll get that one in a minute. Where's our express train? Is it this one? Yeah. He needs to average 39 no problem. He's going like 60 or so. So as soon as he gets up there we'll have our bonus. So before that happens we can sit, get Deming into the game. So let's go with a station here. Three, four, two, four, that's not bad. And that would be... Outside to... Outside, like that. That looks pretty good. Uh, I don't like the fact that it's not showing. See, I can't grab right there. All right. Let's come up, up here. Come off of this side first. Because it's the hardest. It really is. Okay, max speed. Hmm.
Okay, we got Max. Two, two, five, four. Okay, I think I like that. Okay. Sixty-eight is fine. I think that's faster than our automatic train will go anyway. All right, we got that one going. And we can go here to, whoops. Oh, 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 I see. Missing the uh, switches on this end. All right, so we can get a line, an automatic line going here to here. With the PRR. And that will signal that they want stuff from this warehouse. Now, what we're gonna do with these warehouses is add this one will need now needs wood and sugar because it's now going to be feeding dimming right so it has it should have all four items yes then this one up here will need all four because it's sort of a transfer point it's going to need to be have grain added to it to let uh, this warehouse know that people up this way need grain. Now this one on the end only needs the um, these two because the rest of them will automatically come to it. It, it is an endpoint, so we don't have to have a warehouse marking there to say we've got to go somewhere else. All right, so that should allow us to move corn, grain, wood, and sugar to all these cities. And we're still waiting on that one bonus. I think this is it right here coming in, isn't it? Yeah. It should be that guy right there. Oh, what's he waiting on? What in the world? Have I got a goof here? Ah, dummy. What a dummy. Okay, here comes our other bonus, which we should have had long ago. Don't be discouraged by our competition to the south. We may have had a deal with Mr. Huntington, but God has given us an opportunity. Hallelujah! The first delivery has been completed. The exploitation of western mineral resources will work wonders for us. All right, let's do... Um... Let's get it. We're going to need a line running north out of here. So we're going to come out of this. i tell you what we're going to do with this. We're going to make this into a... And we'll go out, use our Josh rule and go out eight. I think I'd like to back this off a little bit more. And then turn in here like so. go ahead and hook this in to the far side yep that's right
Now, did we get our express? We did. All right, so that line, Albuquerque to El Paso is going to become, I'm just gonna blow it up, it's easier. And start over, Albuquerque to El Paso, automatic with the PRR and then dimming to El Paso automatic okay so we got here 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 we need probably yeah we need El Paso to um, well, it's interesting, huh? No, I think I think we're going to run Santa Fe to El Paso automatic, and then we're going to run dimming to Santa Fe automatic. with a train so we have a couple more dollars Okay, perfect. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so let's see. Um, let me double check myself here. We've got warehouse. Coming in, we have grain and corn. And we've got it, actually we've got it set for these two, but it doesn't really need it anymore because we've got that straight line. We can get rid of these two, right? Because uh, dimming can get its stuff out of the Albuquerque warehouse. Like the, um, we need the grain and, we need these two sets so that these can relay down south. We need these two set, the grain and the corn, so that it can relay up to Santa Fe, right? Do you know if we had, um, no, no, it still wouldn't do the, I started to say if we had meat and beer on there, we wouldn't even need those extra city to city lines, but we do because we want, um, because of the cloth, because it's actually three things, not four. All right, so let's look at, um, I want to re recheck the lines, make sure I got everything I need. So from, well, from the point of view of Santa Fe, they need a direct line to everybody, right? So they've got Deming, Albuquerque, El Paso, good. And then they've got one, two, three things coming in, that's good. So they should be, we've got the trains we need to service Santa Fe. Now Albuquerque would be El Paso, Deming, and Santa Fe, that's perfect. And they have nothing coming in there just yet. Then Deming should have all three. Albuquerque, El Paso, Santa Fe, beautiful. And El Paso should have two lines plus all three. Albuquerque, Deming, Santa Fe, and two lines, beautiful. All right, so we've got everything set up. Now let's think about how could we optimize this. And can we do stuff like yeah, we can. We can. We can. I think. Can we? Can we get in here? We can. Let's just go for it. Let's go here. Into here.
we'll double track and then bring it back. Run full. Yes, I saw that problem because we don't have switches on the back end. Okay. I did put a train on that, didn't I? What in the world? Did I put a train on this? Oh, <laughs> I put a line on it. I didn't put a train on it. Oh, 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 we probably want the Shea. It's actually cheaper. Okay. So we'll do Shea for freight and uh, PRRs for city to city. That works. Okay, let's... One, two, we got two of our cities. Oh, we got three of our cities growing. Good deal, good deal. That's what we want. That's what we're after right now. Get these three cities growing. And as we get money, we'll run more uh, trains. Make sure we have enough trains running here to. We gotta get into uh, supply towers, definitely. Any chance we could get some more money? No. Could have known that. First you make a deal and then look for greener pastures. Well, it's fine with me. You'll see what wasting your money on a superfluous parallel route will get you. Be careful, Mr. Holiday. The West isn't big enough for all of us. I'll find a way to stop you. I find your lack of faith disturbing, Mr. Huntington. Soon it will become clear which of us has to choke on their aspirations. Okay, the money is not exactly pouring in, is it? That is a fact. But we're getting one, two, one, one growth. We have four cities growing. And that's that's what we that's what we need. So we're doing what we need. And we gotta get some repairs going here. Oh, research. What do we got research? Cost of buildings would be nice. Was that back here somewhere? Recruiting. Recruiting. 
auction that would be nice to have oh processing for a hundred that's a good one it's not an issue right now because we're not hauling that much stuff but still man we're just not making any money But we are growing our cities. And as they grow, then, you know, the, the money will come. Okay, let's do our first repairs. And we'll set it on 100. I hit transfer even though there isn't anybody else. All right, so... If we do repairs here, that takes care of uh, three of the city lines, but then we've got dimming to here and this to here. So I think maybe we'll put repairs in Santa Fe. Restaurant and warehouse. We'll, we'll dump the restaurant for now. We'll put repairs in Santa Fe. So now all the city to city lines are taken care of. And I guess we should think about, uh, for the time being, where our stuff's coming in. It's coming in here, so that'll repair all these guys. And then it's coming in here. So if we put a repair station here, every train can get repaired. So this will be as a, as a first pass. There. Now we've got everybody set to be repaired. So all our trains, see there's a breakdown right there. So this, this train right here, we're going to set it to zero. And then we'll bring it back to one when we have some money. There we go. Everything else is set to repair. We have city growth going. So I think that's probably a good place to wrap up at the episode one. Maybe we, uh, let's run, let it run to the quarter and we'll see how pathetic our uh, stuff is. Now here we're getting some delays because the first repairs are happening and they're taking a long time because these trains are kind of, they need, need some work. <laughs> and we'll expand this station certainly. Since it's both, right now it's a pass-through and a, a station, we'll fix that later. And when we get a, a little volume and some money, 1.5 is very poor because uh, we had 900 bonuses and we did like a $600,000 quarter, 700,000 maybe. At the same time, these cities are tiny and there's only four of them. So that's our biggest, biggest problem too. We only have four cities. So we're, there's just nothing to, I don't think anybody wants to go to Raton Station. Let me just confirm that. Yeah, see, it's, it's not real, if you will. It's not really on here. So we're doing, see, so we're, we're doing all we can do, right? So we're, we're stuck with this tiny little economy. And we've got, we've got our stuff coming in. You know, we've got all the city growth set up as, about as well as we can get it. So I'm not sure what else we can do other than just let it ride until we uh, till we get there. What are you missing? Uh, the corn is low, but that, that'll take time. He's way up there. It'll take time to get all that, get enough corn up there. So there's one for Santa Fe now. Grain for Albuquerque and Santa Fe. Santa Fe, El Paso, we could think about another train for that line. That wouldn't be bad.
Okay, now we got three doubles and a single. What's your problem? It's got wood coming. That's all wood and sugar coming, and that's all it's missing. All right, so I think I think that's a pretty good size. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know how to make a better start than that, honestly. If somebody has an idea, put it in put it in your uh, um, put it in the comments. I also think we've got like this line here. You see, it has no freight. I think it's because our buddy here has a, a line that he's running as well. I, you can't really see what he's doing, what he's up to in his station or anything else. Well, you can see like Albuquerque people are going to Tucson through Deming. That means they're going on his line, Yuma, his line, LA, his line. So he's stealing. Not only do we not have any cities, the, our opponent is stealing the business and he's got better lines than we do because he's got El Paso, Deming, Tucson, Yuma, L.A., and San Diego. So he's he's not only, you know, not only does our situation suck, but his his sucks less than ours. So it's all bad. That's all right. It's, it's supposed to be hard. All right. Uh, good start. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it'll help you become a better player. I hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe, and join us for our next Railway Empire 2 video. Thank you.